Hey everyone, this is Lisa with Crate Myrtle Row. Welcome to my channel. Today I have another thrift haul for you guys. And I have got a lot of cute little spring things. And then some of the things I thrifted are for a craft project that I will also do a video on and I'll tell you about that. But first, I wanted to show y'all this shirt I got. I didn't thrift this. I bought this at a local gift shop in my area. But I just loved it. it says Southern to a T. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much me as y'all can tell from my accent <laughs> and got my pearls on we southern girls like to wear our pearls <laughs> so let's just jump right into it okay this first thing I'm gonna show you I got this idea off of um, there's a YouTube channel Linda Vodder I think's the way she pronounced it it's spelled V-A-T a-R or O-R. Anyhow, I thought it was Vader, <laughs> but I think someone on there pronounced it Vader. <laughs> but she's really into gardening and like very nice gardens. Like you're down in Charleston, you know, all these very botanical garden things. But anyhow, she showed taking one of these candle holders, which I see these all the time in thrift stores and pass them up because I hate these little things that... I guess higher end candles maybe have the hole in the wick piece at the bottom that you can sit down on here and hold in place. But I don't use real candles in my house other than the ones that are in jars, you know, like um, Yankee Candle or something like that. Um, I use like the faux candles, so you can't sit them on these. So in the past when I bought stuff like this, I've had to have my husband go grind this off. But she showed, and I can't do it exactly like she did because my pot doesn't have a hole in it but she showed taking your clay pots that have the holes in them and sitting them down over that and then planting succulents in it for sitting outside and i thought that was so cool and um i do have like a little outdoor sitting area with a little table like a coffee table thing so i think i'm gonna try that this year uh of course i want my pots see how that one when it's at the bottom of it i want that big around so I want them a lot bigger sitting on there. And I may even paint this a color other than black. I don't know yet. But I just, when I saw that, I thought that is an excellent idea. And I, this was $2.99. <clears throat> and then um, these next items, y'all, I, being from the South, one of our, our the South Carolina, um, I'm sorry <laughs> getting this out of here the south carolina state flag has a palmetto tree so we're, we're known for the palmetto trees and stuff and these are um candlesticks and i love these these are 3.99 a piece i think yes a piece and they will look really good in the summertime when i do my core now these next two items i'm not necessarily going to use them with these but i i saw them and i liked it and they were a dollar a piece they're these little glass, I don't know what, they're not candle cups, but they're made to sit onto candlesticks to turn them into something a little fancier than just a candle in them. And then you could put votives down in them. So, like I said, I've got two of those. I'll show you the next one. It's a little bit different shape. But I've got so many candlesticks around and some odd ones like this this next one i'll show you i paid um 99 cents for it it was a brass one <clears throat> that someone painted chalk painting but you could put a candle in it or you could put something like that and give it a little bit different look There's those. this next piece i didn't thrift my mom did but it's um it's really nice piece and i love it it's this little dish but it says, if you were not my daughter, I would choose you as my friend. So I, I was very touched by that. And I loved it. And she knows I love the blue and white dishes. So I thought that was very sweet. And she's always buying me gifts and stuff like that. We do the same for each other. As a matter of fact, I got something here I'm going to show you that I, I bought with the intention of giving to her. But we always do that going back and forth. We feed each other's addictions. <laughs> As if we either one need any more stuff, but we do. So this next piece is a basket for $2.99. I love the colors on this one. And um, you can just do a nice floral arrangement in it or, 
or I may even just use it for storing. You know, like sometimes I, I use this to lay the faux florals I have around in until I can get them in an arrangement. Or I take my arrangements apart a lot of times. So I put them in stuff like this to store them while they're not in use. But for $2.99, and, and I just love that color green on that basket. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need to drink me some water this morning. <laughs> and I'm always on the lookout for older looking books. And this was a dictionary guide to business English or something like that. Anyhow, I don't really care what that is. I like the looks of that um, and the looks of the red. And it'll just be nice sitting on a shelf with something sitting on it. This next piece, this little dish, I paid $2.99 for it. I'm, I haven't pulled the sticker back. I'm sure it's some specific pattern. Um, looks like English pottery of some sort. But I love the colors in it. And I'm actually going to do it as like a little, a little arrangement in it. Like um, I have some faux daffodils. I'll, I'll show you some that I have that I've got that's already potted but I got some that's not and I'm gonna create my own little or even like a little tiny orchid planted in this dish it would be really pretty and then this next piece is actually like your little cheese spreaders so those all of these pieces come out the pickles the or it's the relish ketchup mustard but I just thought it was so cute to use in my um, three-tier tray come summertime, something like that. And I didn't know if I told you the price. I don't see a price on it, but I think it was $3.99. I'm not sure. And then this next one was $2, and it is a vintage piece made in Japan. And um, what does it say? I will hold the tea bag, so self-explanatory. But it's a strawberry, so... That's why I got that one. I just loved it. And then this little plate is the Lord's Prayer, and it was $1.99, and I just loved that little plate. And it can be used in my tear tray or anywhere, basically. Now, this next piece I absolutely love. Let's see if I can find the price. It was $3.99, and it's a Fitz and Floyd cabbage dish. That is going to be so pretty. In my Easter decor. Can't wait to use that. And Fitz and Floyd's, I love their stuff. Now this next thing was three dollars. It's a ship in a bottle. <laughs> it doesn't have the stand that holds it so I'll have to figure out something. But I, like I've told y'all many times in the summertime I do a coastal beachy theme and I thought this would be really pretty and I've always wanted a ship in a bottle and this is the first time I ever found one out thrifting and for three bucks <coughs> then the next piece is I think the stickers off of it but I think it was two dollars and it's this faux cactus looking piece and I just like the color of the pot and everything I like using the faux floors around in my decor all the time and I'm sorry I keep going out of range here I'm just setting things down over here out of the way and this was two dollars and I just love that color that is very springy nice little arrangement in there unfortunately I broke the end off when I got it home but you can't really tell it I mean you can see right there where the whole corner broke off but when it's from this side you can't tell it and that's okay with me nobody else is gonna know if I didn't tell anybody but I loved I love that blue color for spring <clears throat> And then also for spring, well actually you could do this year round. This was $2.99. And this glass piece comes out and you could just set another candle or something down in there. Or put one down inside this glass. But I love the birds. And I don't know if I want to paint it or not. I do like kind of the metal finish, but I also thought it would look good to chalk paint it and then distress it some. So, y'all give me your thoughts down below. What do you think I should do? Leave it or chalk paint it? Because <laughs> it's pretty like that too. 
same idea with these next ones this was three dollars for these birds and I do like the muted colors of them um, but I don't know just something about it I think it needs something so I also thought about just chalk painting this and doing some distress and maybe a white chalk paint with some distress and or even you know a blue or green color or maybe even just dry brushing over some of the colors that's already there again y'all leave me a comment tell me what you think i should do with that one okay these next things i know you're gonna think i'm crazy and why would i buy these and they were two dollars no three dollars this one was three dollars it's supposed to be a necklace no i'm not gonna wear this as a necklace but i like the looks of the little straw chain and the shells on it this draped around on a shelf hooked around a jar at the top you know how they do the the wooden beads everybody does the farmhouse beads you can do this the same way during my summer decor and the same thing with this one it was two dollars again it's supposed to be a necklace but it's seashell so i could just twist it lay it across on the shelf across some books something like that and it'll look really good so keep that in mind when you see stuff in the jewelry things like this you know i find them in the in the jewelry sections all the time some sort of bead necklace and or the shell necklaces and they come you know even put them down in a in a glass jar or something they would look good this next item was $2.99 and it's just one of these little pedestals to sit stuff on. And um, I will use it somewhere in my dining room, not my dining room, my living room. <clears throat> but I liked it because it already had a distressed look. This next thing, and I got two of these for $2 a piece, are these faux, I think they're supposed to be the paper whites. That's what they look like to me. Um, especially with the bulbs looking like they're sitting on top of the dirt because I mean if it was daffodils those are usually deeper in the in the dirt but I like the finish on these pots they look really aged and all and for two dollars and and they do look I it may not show on camera very well but in person they look like the real thing and where I was showing you this pedestal you could set something like that on it then you could take and put a little bird on it. Maybe put another little piece of greenery here or something. And that would be really cute. And that doesn't look too bad with this, the color it is, does it? <laughs> the next piece was another faux floral. It was $3. And I mainly bought it for the box. I loved what looked like a vintage drawer. It's, it's I'm sure, something new, but it's metal. But the florals on it aren't too bad. I may spruce them up a little bit. But for that price, I love that. And then the next two items I have are some Pyrex dishes. This one was $4.99, like the cake plate. And I love that green color. And I love using these for like brownies and stuff like that. And then this one was I think it was I took the sticker off I think it was $3.99 and it is faded but I still like the colors of it and I have a yellow one see like that and then maybe stack this one inside of it and then I have one smaller than this that's yellow would be pretty during um, Easter or springtime to, to decorate in some way but I do use those <laughs> Okay, the next piece are these, there's three of these and they were like a quarter piece of napkin ring holders, the little apples. And I really need six for my table, but I do have on my bar here, I do put three placements there. So I may, you know, put a little napkin in it and just have that, not really set a place setting on it, but just have that there. But I just thought these were cute those over there and then this dish was $3.99 and it's just a cut glass um, candy dish I guess but I just loved how detailed all that glass was and I may leave it this color but I have a color of paint 
spray paint that almost exactly the color of jadeite. And so I may spray paint it to look like it's a jadeite dish because I do use jadeite in my Easter or spring decor and in my Christmas here recently. Then y'all know I love my silver stuff. So here, this little, I guess it's supposed to be like a coaster or something. It was a dollar, but it's really cute. And then this piece was 99 cents, like a little pedestal. That will be cute with something sitting on top of it. You could do a candle or a little bird or something. And I love copper. And these two pieces were 99 cents a piece. And they're just like the serving salad serving pieces will be pretty to use during the fall this piece i bought to give my mom it's a rooster <laughs> but i thought that was really cool i like it and the black in my kitchen but i use mainly here i have um strawberries on the wall even though i use some chicken decor in my dining room i don't have anywhere to hang this but my mom actually uses the chickens in her kitchen and has like a gallery wall of stuff. So this will look good on her gallery wall. And did I tell you it was $3.99? It's metal too. And then as, as I've mentioned before, as you see here, up there, over there, <laughs> all around this room and the dining room, I have um, cake pans and butt pans. Bunt pans. I'm not saying butt, y'all. I know my southern accent sounds like that, but I'm saying butt <laughs> with a D in there. <laughs> Sorry if it sounds otherwise. But I found this one, and I just love that detail, the rose detail on it, and the color, the yellow, and all. And you can see I have yellow ones there. I have some more yellow ones. So I'm not sure where this one's going yet, but it was unusual, and I liked it. So I got it put that there and I've shown y'all many times I love plates that are state plates this one is a Wisconsin one and I paid a dollar for it and it's also an egg plate and I do these in my guest bedroom I have an entire gallery wall of state plates and I love that one and I love the crazy look how the detail of the crazy on it and stuff and it says on the back that it's um, warranted 22 karat gold around this edge and made in USA. But I love that. If you, any of you are from Wisconsin, leave me a comment and let me know. And I found this bag of eggs for $2 and they're just kind of like a straw little Easter eggs that I'll use on my um, Easter tree when I get it decorated. I love books. And I forgot to bring in some of the other ones. I had several, like, big coffee table books for gardening, like flower gardens and um, landscape design. But then this one was cake design. And no, I don't decorate cakes. I've always wanted to, you know, take a class in decorating them. But I just, I've never gotten around to it. But this one is from, I think it was from 1960 eight or something like that i can't remember it's 68 or 70. but look at how detailed the cakes in this thing are can you imagine i wouldn't want to cut into a cake that pretty but i would love to get one <laughs> but anyhow it has several you know just very fancy cakes and i just enjoyed looking at it and then i think they were a dollar for the book so i mean for a dollar just to have the enjoyment of looking at it i mean you pay several times more than that for a magazine so i don't mind paying that for a book and and i've like i've told y'all before if i once i've looked at it if it's not something i think i would want to pick up again in later time and look at then i will just donate it back or pass it on to a friend this next piece i gotta bend down to get you're probably gonna think i'm crazy I like to think outside the box, as y'all have probably figured out with some things. <laughs> I, I look at everything with, with eyes of like an artist's eyes. What can I do with that? Not necessarily what it is, but what can I do with it? And I mean everything. And y'all will get that point here in just a second. But this piece was... A light, see, like that hung down way up inside. I've done cut it apart. This sucker is heavy. Ooh. But 
but this I seen not as a light I didn't need one this big as a lantern I'm going to take and I've already took it apart so every little bit of this screws off the glass can come out I'm gonna paint it and do if y'all have watched some of my haul videos there was a few haul videos um, back that I had a big big candle like outdoor candle it was huge and really tall it will be perfect inside this and like I say I'm gonna paint this to stress it and then I'll either sit it on my front porch or up on top of my entertainment center because I've got a lot of space there to put it but that's what I mean looking or thinking outside the box and it's funny the day that I bought that I actually saw a very tall lantern a little bit taller than that one in a um, home decor store I think it was that at home and it was forty dollars and for the size it was I thought well you know that's not really bad because those can be quite expensive but I was like ah, I'm just I'm, I'm gonna wait I'm gonna think about it I'm gonna wait well I left that store went into a Goodwill and found that one for $11.99 and when I saw that I was like you know it's not square but it's something unusual I'm gonna put down in the bottom you know like the little um, candle rings that you put with the florals or something or put something around in there maybe put a bow or a swag of flowers across the top and um, have a lantern for $11.99 versus $40 <laughs> so like that I did and then like I said thinking outside the box well first I will show you I have been wanting to make some pillows bunny shaped pillows for springtime and I've looked online trying to print out patterns and I just couldn't find the exact shape that I had in my mind so I was just going to draw something out but lo and behold <laughs> I go into a thrift store and for 40 cents I know it says whoops it says 50 but it was discounted it's 40 cents I see this plastic bunny tray that's the shape I'm looking for this will be a very simple shape to sew you know cut it out of cloth and sew and make a bunny out of and I'll show you what the stuff that I bought to do that with this was a pillow sham but it kind of makes me think of a chenille in that pink so that will be good I will lay this on here cut them out and then just sew them up and I will do a tutorial when I go to do these so that was one piece I found and then this was a robe like a, a bathrobe but I loved and I think it was two dollars but again it's kind of that fuzzy chenille kind of style for me that would be real pretty cut out in one of those bunny shapes so that's where I say think outside the box look through the clothing for this and don't look at it as clothing look at it as cloth and the pattern or something you want out of that pattern <laughs> I do that a lot I used to um, do some of the tassel necklaces and I would go to Goodwill when they had on the weekends they had racks of clothing that was like I keep thinking I've got a hair here oh there it is sorry <laughs> squirrel <laughs> anyhow I would go on the weekends and they would have um, racks of clothing real cheap so I would buy stuff to make those um, rag um, garland things or tassels whatever but anyhow the other thing that's outside thinking outside the box when I saw this sweater I did not see a sweater I saw a giant carrot now think about it this sleeve this is the color like a carrot if I gathered this up you know turn it inside out gather it and then turn it back over and then sew this together and then put some kind of um, faux fern looking piece in it it's gonna look like a giant carrot and it will be perfect for my spring decor and I have two sleeves so I get two carrots and then the rest of it will be perfect to do some of those um, fabric covered pumpkins I did back in the fall the next pieces are I love doilies and these were 25 cents for all all three or four of these hooked together 
This one was 50 cent for the two of those hooked together. My battery's about to go dead, so I'm going to try to hurry up here. This one was 25 cent for all of these. Now, I know why this one, I mean, they should have charged more because this one's a handmade one really nice. The other two are more like your manufactured ones. These aren't handmade ones. But I loved that purple one. So I got that one. This, I think I paid a dollar for, and it is supposed to be like a little, I guess, child size apron, but they've made it out of handkerchiefs, and that is adorable. This is a shower curtain that I'm going to cut up and make pillow covers for my pillows in my living room, because I use these blue-green colors and all that. So there again, think outside the box. Look through the fabrics, shower curtains, sheets, anything like that. It's big pieces of fabric. I think it was $2 or $3 at the most. And I think I can get maybe six of the pillow covers out of that. At least four of them, but maybe six of them out of it. <clears throat> Got this vintage style tablecloth. I don't know if this is really vintage. But it feels like the ones, the linen ones that are vintage, but I loved, and it's a big one, it's like 60 inches long, but I loved that blue color. And it's going to go perfect in my dining room that I just painted slightly darker than that on the bottom half. Then I found these, sorry, <laughs> I'm rattling the thing. I found these curtain panels. I got five of them for $2 a piece. And I'm going to put them in my living room because I love these muted greens and peaches and blues and all. And I mean, for that price, and there was five of them, curtains are very expensive. And I found some nice Ashley, Laura Ashley, I think is what I had last year, that are blue with yellow. And they look good, but they're not quite the color I want in that room. So when I saw that, I loved it. And then this is just a crocheted baby blanket that I'm going to use for the bottom of a tree skirt. So that's all I have. I'm sorry I'm rushing through this. My battery's blinking at me on my camera. <laughs> but that's all I have for today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorite thing is. Also, let me know about those other things, that painting them or not painting them. And um, go follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, all of those things. And I hope y'all have a very blessed day. Bye.